Ann Devine here with DEP's Environmental Education Center, and we're here with our summer interns. We have Nick Achenbach, who goes to Mansfield University, and we have Allie Campbell, who goes to Franklin and Marshall. So we have in our boxes today, we have two male falcons. So we have the blue banded male, and we also have the white banded male. So they both were rescued this morning. Um, the blue banded male took his, it's in this box, he took his first flight yesterday and ended up on a lower ledge of the building. Um, he was there over 24 hours without flying, so, so we went down and, and we captured him. He did fly, um, and he actually ended up on the, the road on 4th Street near our building. We're here in the Rachel Carson building. We also have the white banded male um, who was in the same location. So both males were in the same spot. He actually fledged on Monday, and this is his second rescue. He was rescued on Monday night. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, examine them. We're going to be shining a light in their eyes, make sure they don't have a concussion. We're going to be looking in their mouth to make sure they don't have um, a, a deadly, potentially deadly um, disease called trichomoniasis, um, and we're going to examine them. If there's anything wrong, then we will take them to a wildlife rehabilitator that's not far from here. If they're okay, then we're going up on the roof of the building and we'll be releasing them. Um, then they'll be able to take take short flights and, and make it down to the ledge on the on the 15th floor. Okay, so Nick is going to help me shine a light into, into its eyes. So we're going to open it up and Allie's just going to help me. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to pick him up okay so can you go ahead shine a light in his eyes we're going to look at his pupils so his pupils look good let's see if we can look at his other pupil yeah so both pupils look good we're going to look in his mouth so we're going to see if we in his mouth looks really nice and pink so that's good so we're just going to kind of feel this is called his keel make sure that that's in good shape so he looks he looks really good so this is this is blue so I'm gonna go ahead and put him back in the box and then we'll we'll um, we'll take him upstairs okay so now we have the white banded male he was a little bit feistier, so that's why I have these gloves on. So males are generally smaller than females, so we're going to go ahead and shine the light. Look at his black pupils, they look good. His mouth looks good, so we're going to feel his keel, which feels good. And so we are just going to put him right back down in there. So let's go with my gloves. So they really, they really, um, they catch birds in, in midair. So they have really strong talons and they're really able to catch, catch their prey easily. So, so that concludes our exam. We're going to go up to the roof of the building now and then release them. Okay, we're here on top of the Rachel Carson building, so we're ready to release our two male falcons. So what we're going to do first is, after I open the box, we're going to spray them with some water. It is pretty hot out here. Um, it will also, um, it will also, Collisions, yeah. 
yesterday, but it is okay. 